Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Yeah, welcome back guys and for today's video we're going to be trying some Christmas snacks from Tesco. This is the last festive video guys. It is, or it should be Christmas Eve yeah. um, and this is the last of our festive videos. So yeah, it's been a run. It's been the a bit of a blast. 2023. The last video of 2023. Yeah. Yes. It's been a wild yeah. year. Yeah, it has indeed. Wild time. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas for tomorrow and have a lovely New Year's. Right now, I'm probably seven glasses of wine in and can't breathe from a food coma. Really hope that you've been enjoying the festive content and you may have been thinking, when are they going to do Tesco's? We knew that we had to. And it is today. We are here now and it is Tesco snack time, guys. This is, looks like a really good haul, I must say. So should we start? Yeah. We should start savory, I think. So Tesco Finest, obviously, most of the Christmas range is Tesco Finest. These, I uh, just had to get them. These are dinky smoked ham and maple pastry puffs. Ooh, shareable and Moorish. I love like beige food at Christmas. Like the, the Boxing Day buffet is honestly oh, yeah. like a beauty, a beautiful thing. Butter enriched puff pastry filled with smoked ham, soft cheese and a maple glaze. A like little pasty. They're a good size. They smell good, mm. smell sweet. Look at that that's gap. That's a lot of pastry. Look at the gap. I think that's a little bit cheeky. Mm. They're nice. The flavour's good. But it's a bit cheeky, that. When you actually get, like, a flavour of the filling, it's really, really nice. But because there's so much pastry, it's a little bit dry. Mm. And for me, if they're going to be finest, it needs to be rammed full of filling. Oh, do you wonder how much stuff was? I got them. Mm. Uh, £3.50. For that. $3.50. Quite pricey. And mm. alongside them, we've also got some more dinky stuff. Uh, dinky pork, cranberry, and orange rolls. Oh, okay. That sounds good, isn't it? Yeah, fingers crossed for these. Mini sausage rolls. Pretty much. Not mini, dinky. <laughs> these were three fifty as well. I think they were two for five pound. Mm. You want to show that? And I'll read out. All butter puff pastry filled with British pork, sweet cranberries, <laughs> cranberries, uh, and orange zest. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah. Again, quite a lot of pastry, but I think for a sausage roll, it's allowed. That's nice. Mm. It took me off guard for a second because as soon as I bit into it, I just tasted orange. Yeah. But. Oh, I didn't but... get that straight away. I got orange straight away. I got pastry. The flavour is good. It's a mm. very sweet mm. sausage roll. Mm. Even okay. the glaze is sweet. Mm. The cranberries are sweet. That's nice though. It is nice. I like them. It's it's really not meaty. No, it's not meaty. Um, like compared to when we did the M&S, we tried that big fat sausage roll. Mm. That was pure meat. That's like, oh, that's a, I don't know. It's a buffet sausage roll, isn't it? You know, by request, I went to M&S and got... One for mum and dad. Did you? They watched that. They wanted to try it. I don't blame them. About it. I don't blame them. They are lovely. Out of the two of them, that sausage roll is definitely nicer. But if you're fancying a real indulgent sausage roll, that's maybe not the one. It's a bit actually on. It doesn't even feel like a savoury food. Mm. Let's try these giant salted pretzels. And the real question is, how giant is giant? Uh, yeah. Oh. They're, Fair they're, enough. They're pretty good. They're bigger than I thought they were going to be. That's awesome. And the bag's pretty full. Oh, how are you going to see this? Oh, no. there you go. Look. Oh, we're in a heart. I do love a chocolate colour. The giant's Christmas. good. Mmm. Pets was a Christmas or a must have, I feel. So good. Maybe we can make some melted chocolate and put some of these in chocolate mm. for Christmas. They're just like a standard pretzel. With a glass of something as well. Because they're so salty. Red wine. Yeah. They're just good. classic pretzels, but nice. £1.23. Oh, not bad. Are we just going for all savoury? Yeah, we're on the sweet? savoury train, oh. aren't we? So let's go. We let's have do some it. crisps. Mm. Tesco Finest Prawn Marie Rose flavour. Hand cooked crisps. 
Now I do rate Tesco's salt and vinegar version of these. Um, sometimes when you're in the shop, they're the only ones that aren't like two pound fifty. Mm. I was a little bit disappointed actually by the selection of their crisps that they had for Christmas. Well, not a many. Do they have those massive turkey balls again? No, I didn't see them. Oh. I didn't see them. I didn't see any like turkey and stuffing ones. I didn't see any like outlandish Christmas flavors. Because is this Christmas? Yeah, it was in the Christmas section. Oh. Some people yeah. have prawn cock. Is that just your mum uh, that does nah, that? Nah, people have prawn cocktail for starters. Cocktail. Yeah, many people have prawn cocktail over Christmas. But I feel like maybe they just thought, you know what, no one buys bloody turkey and stuffing crisps. So let's just make flavors that people actually like. <laughs> Which is essentially a prawn cocktail. Oh, they smell good. Oh, they're big crisps. Oh. Yeah, these are gonna be good, man. I already know, you can just tell. Oh, strong. Yeah, they are different to normal prawn cocktail. Mm -hmm. They are. They're quite punchy. They taste like skips. Yeah. Skips crisps. Yeah, that's so true. If you've had them, there's a very distinct flavor. Yeah. It's that, oh. yeah, it's that strong prawn cocktail flavour. Mm. Crisp itself as well, great. £1.35. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Right, what would you like to try first in our One, sweet selection two, then? Three, four. Mm, these ones, yeah. because they're, you know me, and salt with caramel. So there was lots of, in the like in the fridge section, like desserts, lots of very big like cheesecakes and like molten, melt in the middle cakes, but they're massive, like for like, eight people. So I went for like a, a smaller version, uh, which are mini salted caramel and chocolate tarts. Mm. All butter chocolate pastry cases filled with salted caramel sauce, topped with Belgian chocolate and decorated with bronze dusted chocolate shortcake balls. Mm -hmm. <gasps> How salted is a salted caramel is the question. Ooh, Probably gonna be salted. The pastry, pastry looks lovely. Good. Shiny. It smells very sweet, but nice, nice chocolate smell as well. Oh. Mmm. Actually, there doesn't the caramel doesn't look that thick. There's chocolate on top of the yeah, caramel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mmm. It tastes like a goo pop, like the millionaire mm. zillionaire goo pop. Oh, that's good. I did not think I was gonna like that. That's tasty. That does not taste like salted caramel. It's because yeah, you're right. It's just like caramel. Yeah. But the caramel Subtle. is is quite thin, and there's a good layer of chocolate on top. And the thick pastry casing at the mm, bottom as well. That's that really is good. so good. I was so skeptical. That but pastry is so good. When as you well. brought it back, I was like, oh, I salted caramel. But that tastes like a goo pot. Even the bottom of it is like the base of the goo yeah, pot. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh, I like that. That is good. Taking that over yes, for Christmas. I like that a lot. Good. Uh, they stay in the fridge. More a note for ourselves, really. Because they weren't in the fridge. They weren't in the we fridge, didn't but leave it's cold, so you're fine, you're fine. Uh, right, let's try this. So you probably know about Wicked Kitchen, which is like Tesco's in-house vegan range. They had quite a few festive things, actually. And they also had lots of uh, free-from stuff as well. So, oh, good. Uh, good selection. These are gingerbread cupcakes. Sweet, zingy, and warming gingerbread sponge topped with a smooth, creamy... Oh, dreamy vanilla frosting. It's Thick good though, it's like, yeah, it's like carrot cake. You've got to have that sweet, just to kind of mm. counterbalance the spice. Oh, that looks really good. I love gingerbread. I really do, and especially in cakes as well. Where did we try gingerbread muffin? Was it Costa? One of the one of the big ones. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Might Costa. Mm -mm. Oh, honey, that's lovely. That's really nice. Must be oil in the sponge or something because it is very moist. In a bit in a good way. It tastes like a carrot cake to me. It does, very similar to a carrot cake. And obviously because you've got the vanilla frosting, it's similar to a cream cheese. Mm. It's really nice. That is lovely. It works really nicely with that icing. It does indeed. Nice. I rate the Wicked range from Tesco, I do. They are good. I, I got a feeling they're a little bit on the pricier side of things. Mm, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh no, three pound. Okay. For four, For four cupcakes. cupcakes. That's not bad. Decent size. They're not big ones like muffins. They're on the smaller side, but they're the good cupcakes. They'll, they'll get eaten for sure, mainly by me. Right, two things left, guys. Flying through. Let's do these and then finish okay. with the mince pie, shall we? So this was these were everywhere. Rudolph's noses with mm -hmm. the ganache centers with a glistening choc shell. Mm. Truffles with a milk chocolate ganache center, white chocolate shell. Mm covered in red 
coloured chocolate. I feel Food like we might noses. have tried these before. Probably. I think we tried chocolate Brussels. Ooh. Oh, they're massive. <laughs> they're much bigger than I thought they were going to be. You can see it's got a little glisten on it. I love the fact that it's like truffly. Probably good fun for the kids and that, you know. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's hard. Oh. Mm. I don't know. At first I thought that was like caramel. That's quite tasty. Quite a thick layer of white chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Enough milk chocolate to counter yeah. against the white chocolate. The ganache inside is what you taste. That's the yeah. flavour. That's good. £2.50. Okay. Right, we're on to our final thing then, guys. Um, and as you will know, if you've seen the other festive videos, is that when we're doing snack taste tests, we have to try some kind of mince pie. It's only right, we feel. And Tesco's edition are these crumble tot mince pies. Ooh. I have high hopes for these. I think these will be the best mince pie we've tried yet. But let's see. With brandy. Rich all butter pastry packed with delicious mix of plump vine fruits, festive spice, citrus peel and French brandy. Topped with an all butter crumble. Mm, I great. like that. They look great. They do. Presentation wise, they look great. They just sound good too, man. Yeah, it looks good. They're caseless. Yes, not, not in a little tin. Kind of like a pie, but kind of like a... Something else. Yeah. Like a top. But the crumble comes like halfway down the casing, so... That does look nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Not deep filled. Oh, stop it. Mmm, is it good? Stop that. Oh, that is bloody delicious. Mmm. Really yum. The crumble is lovely. Yeah, that crunch is really nice. Yeah. The yeah, filling is very strong. Mmm. I feel like you can taste the brandy. I think mum and dad will like those. Mm -hmm. We have to take those round. That's probably the best mince pie we've tried out of the, the lot. 100%. Although we haven't tried loads, just as like a... Yeah. We and also, we loads. haven't tried like the standard mince pie. No. We've tried to go for like the slightly different one. That's so true. They were at uh, £1.75. Club card. Club card prices. You £3 know. full price. But they yeah, are very, very good indeed. Right. That's the end. What's your final favourite thing of 2023? Bloody hell, big question. What? We didn't prep this. No, of, of the meal. <laughs> oh, of this it's, one. Because it's the last oh, right, video. Right. No, uh, not the last. What's last's... your favourite thing of the year? Go now. I have no idea. Um, it's got to be the... <laughs> got to be the mince pies. Yeah? Those, yeah, those crumble topped mince pies are absolutely... Mwah. I'm actually going to bring, for the first time ever this year probably, my favourite thing is featuring salted caramel. Wow. And it's the little tarts. Just because, oh, honestly, try if you like goo pots, try this. Yeah, they're good. Because yeah. it is like a mini cheesecake and the yeah. salted caramel really is not strong. It's very yeah, subtle. Probably. That's our favourite Who would have knew? Who would have knew? Who would have known that you would have been leaving the year having picked a salted caramel product? Yeah, but it's a fake salted caramel. It doesn't it taste is. like salted it's caramel. It's true. Also, the crisps... Have yeah, to standard man. That's that just nice. Haven't mentioned nice. because, yeah. as always, but that is it. That is it, guys. It's the end of our festive content. Thank you so much for watching the festive videos, guys. We really hope you've enjoyed them. Emma and I are super keen to bring some really cool content your way next year. Yeah, we're gonna be off for a couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, we both have kind of a couple of weeks off work work um yes. full-time work so we're going to sort of combine that time off to really switch off a little bit over the festive period and into the new year so we will see you sometime in january we will unless you follow us on insta then sometimes we'll we post do that. who knows if you're lucky <laughs> we'll post over christmas thank you so much we really do appreciate your support guys more than you'll ever know it's um amazing to just have the kind of little community that we do it makes such a difference to uh, to our weeks and our it years does. So. so thank you so much hope you've enjoyed the videos we hope you have a wonderful wonderful christmas if you celebrate if not have an amazing break um we'll see you guys in 2024 but until then wherever you are we love you loads stay well and we'll see you in the new year bye